Progressive web apps now support maskable icons. There's some cool new stuff with WebXR. The WakeLock API is available as an origin trial, and there's plenty more. I'm Pete LePage. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 79. If you're running Android O or later, and you've installed a progressive web app, you've probably noticed that annoying white circle around the icon. Thankfully, Chrome 79 now supports maskable icons for installed progressive web apps. You'll need to design your icon to fit within the safe zone, essentially a circle with a diameter that's 80% of the canvas. Then, in the web app manifest, you'll need to add a new purpose property to the icon and set its value to maskable. Tiger Oaks has a great post on CSS tricks linked below with all the details and has a great tool that you can use for testing your icons to make sure they'll fit. You can now create immersive experiences for smartphones and head-mounted displays with the new WebXR device API. WebXR enables a whole spectrum of immersive experiences, from using augmented reality to see what a new couch might look like in your home before you buy it, to virtual reality games and 360-degree movies, and more. To get started with the new API, read Virtual Reality Comes to the Web. There are two new features that are available as origin trials. Origin trials allow you to build demos and prototypes using experimental features and roll them out broadly to your users without requiring them to flip any special flags in Chrome. One of my biggest pet peeves about Google Slides is that if you leave the deck open on a single slide for too long, the screensaver kicks in. Before you can continue, you need to unlock your computer. It sucks. But with the new Wake Lock API, a page can request a lock and prevent the screen from dimming or the screensaver from kicking in. It's perfect for slides, but also helpful for things like a recipe site, where you might want to keep the screen on while you follow the instructions. To request a wake lock, you need to call navigator.wakelock.request and save the wake lock sentinel object that it returns. The lock is maintained until the user navigates away from the page, or you call release on the wake lock sentinel object that you saved earlier. More details are at web.dev slash wake lock. There are times when you don't want part of the DOM to render immediately. For example, a scroller with a large amount of content, or tabbed UIs where only some of the content is visible at any given time. The new render subtree attribute tells the browser that it can skip rendering that particular subtree. This allows the browser to spend more time processing the rest of the page, increasing performance. When render subtree is set to invisible, the element's content is not drawn or hit tested, allowing for rendering optimizations. Changing render subtree to activatable makes the content visible by removing the invisible attribute and rendering the content. To see a complete list of features in Origin Trial or learn more, check out the updates post linked in the description. If you miss Chrome Dev Summit, all of the talks are on our YouTube channel. Jake has a great Twitter thread with all the fun stuff that went on between the talks, including our newest team member, Sergico. All the details, including links, docs, and specs, are in the updates post linked in the description. Be sure to check out the latest Chrome DevTools video to learn what's new in DevTools. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm Pete LePage, and as soon as Chrome 80 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.